Today I fucked up by wearing my robe and sweatpants to go to the bathroom. Scene. Early morning, Midwest America, zero dark o'clock. I get up to go use the bathroom. It's cold. I put on my sweatpants to go pee. Still cold. I grab my bathrobe and put it on. My first mistake was not closing the bathrobe and leaving it open. After all, why should I? Something like what's about to happen never happened to me before ever and I'm simply going to wear my robe for a min, take it off and then go back to bed. I'm standing there, legs spread, doing my business. Enter. The culprit quietly enters. My sweatpants are pushed down low with the tie straps dangling, the robe tie dangling and also my berries if you catch my drift. I finish peeing and do my shaking, causing all three items to of course, jiggle. This jiggling sealed my doom. My six-months-old kitten had snuck into the darkness and was watching me pee directly in front of me. The jiggling of the items caused him to leap into action and get caught on my balls. There he was, dangling from them, one claw, thank the gods, trapped on my scrotum, as I began bucking him off like I was a bull at a rodeo and he was holding on like he was going to set a record. I was able to get him off after three seconds but let me tell you, it felt like the cosmos took eons to align for that to happen first. Thankfully he missed the actual ball itself and was stuck on the stretchy sack part. I managed to remain quiet during the altercation vocally but not physically. I got back to bed and my wife wanted to know if I was okay because it sounded like I was fighting off an intruder in the bathroom. I'm okay now but it feels like I nicked my balls shaving but worse. Too long did not read. Jiggled my balls in front of my kitten unintentionally going to the bathroom and he jumped up and latched on. Update. My wife says, OMG you told Reddit? Yeah. Why? Because it's funny. Also, my gentlemen seem fine. We're aware of cat scratch fever. Just that one nut sort of stings still but there is no visible mark or anything to determine where the wound is. It just hurts but I appreciate y'all's concern over a worrisome infection. Cats have bacteria in their nails from their litter box. Clean the scratch or puncture. The location alone is a bacteria pool, but to add more, you will have one sore set of berries if you don't listen to my life lesson. I learned a lot about male anatomy from this post. You should really have it checked out by a doctor, you never know, better safe than sorry. Go to the doctor and get some antibiotics. That, or you can take your chances with finding out what Fournier's gangrene is. Today I fucked up by taking my wedding ring off at the gym. Today I fucked up up taking my wedding ring off at the gym. Long time lurker, first time poster and I am posting from my phone so please forgive formatting. I have just recently arrived home following this foo. I, a very happily married 36M with a small herd of children have been going to the gym in my little town since November 2022. I always go after getting the kids to bed which generally puts me there around 8.30pm. The gym I go to has two rooms. One has cardio equipment, ellipticals, treadmills, bikes etc. The other room has free weights and various other torture devices. My routine begins the same every time with 9.19.5 miles on the bike, which leaves me in a state similar to that of a walrus that has just managed to pull himself onto an iceberg, very wet and breathing heavy. This process takes me to about 8.55 p.m. I enjoy hitting weights at this time because the gym is often, not always, empty and it leaves me to grunt and groan in peace. Tonight the gym was not empty when I entered the weight room. Now I mentioned that I have been going to the gym since early November. In that time I have gotten used to the people that do spend time in the gym past 9 and this person was new. Not a big deal, she had brought her own yoga mat. The ones in the gym are blue and red and this one was tie dyeish And she had her phone set up on a stand. I assume she was making a video. Both of these observations were made as I walked down to my trusty bench to start my bent over rows. I grabbed my dumbbells and sat down to continue my ritual and TIFU. I always remove my wedding ring before I lift and tuck it in my right sock for safe keeping. If I try to wear it, it digs into my hand and makes things most unpleasant. So I start grunting out reps with ol' righty and just nicely switch to lefty when I feel a tap on my shoulder. So I stopped what I was doing and turned to see new girl standing behind me sporting a menacing glare and wielding her iPhone. I popped out my earbud and asked what was up. The following conversation is as I remember it. Me. Hey, what's up? New girl. You're disgusting. Me. Excuse me? Ing. You saw me in here and took off your ring, planning on chatting me up? 
This is a little paraphrased. She swore a little too and I wasn't taking perfect notes. Me. What? Ing. You're gross. Me. Okay. I proceeded to put my earbuds back in and get to work while she stormed to the other side of the gym and started packing up her stuff. I watched her head for the exit while I was resting between sets. Anyway, I'm rowing away and out of nowhere I'm blasted with a cascade of liquid which leads me to drop my dumbbell and spin around to see what's going on. There's new girl with her recently emptied pink yeti screaming at me. I'm assuming for being gross, it was unclear as I had my buds in still. I remove my earbuds so I can understand her and she storms away. I think the highlight of the exchange is that my gym shirt now smells like vodka. Do most people drink at the gym? Am I doing this wrong? I'm home, showered and explained why my shirt smells like I've had a raging party to my wife. We've both had a good laugh. If I see new girl's video on social media I'll be sure to share it here. I don't know who she was but it's a pretty small town so it might pop up. Cheers. Too long did not read. I took off my wedding ring at the gym causing a lady I've never met before to go bananas. If I come across this video on TikTok, I'm expecting Joey Swole to stitch it. I would probably file a complaint to gym management. You were minding your own business and she made a mess over nothing. You were clearly trying to chat her up by. Less than checks notes. Completely ignoring her and going about your business until she got all up in your face. You're not fooling anyone, pal. I hope you had a talk with the gym staff, she needs to be kicked out of there for that behavior. People are strange. It's very common to not wear your ring to lift. I never wear mine to the gym at all because it gives me calluses and I also don't want to scratch it. You didn't fuck up she did. Sorry someone was so rude to you. Today I fucked up and ruined my relationship. TLDR. Had a few drinks with my normal life, woke up, everything's ruined. Got blackout drunk by mistake last night. It was only a few shots and some wine but on an empty stomach. I remember coming to shortly before arriving in a hotel room. Here's what happened. I confronted my partner about some stupid thing that had been bothering me. Then, I verbally abused and physically assaulted my partner. I punched him in the face and spat on him. His parents had to pull me off. I yelled at them all for over three hours and said some really awful things. I kept asking for my keys and they said no, then they took me to a hotel. Paid for the room and all. After a long night of questionable decisions afterward, my partner told me what I did. I had no idea until he told me. I feel awful. Obviously, he's broken up with me. I broke every single one of his boundaries. I have no one to blame but myself. I should have slowed down when it started tasting like water. I should have stopped and went to lay down and sleep and disappoint my partner only by missing date night. We were moving in together, talked about getting married, were on the same page about everything. We were going to have a date day today. All gone. He has me blocked on everything already. I wish I could rewind time. I completely fucked up. Here it is. Drank too much, woke up, and now my life is ruined. Yeah maybe you should just stop drinking. Seems like you're a violent drunk just gonna keep on happening. Major life lesson learned here I hope. Sadly your boyfriend and his family suffered for it. Please reflect honestly on this event and make the changes you need. Those are some great parents that guy has. Bro dodged a bullet. This should be a sign to get help. If all it takes is a few drinks for you to get not only confrontational, but downright violent, there's some deeper underlying issues here. Today I fucked up I didn't realize people can be allergic to moisturizing body oil. I. Feel. Terrible. I started seeing a non-platonic, friend, who just moved into an apartment building three blocks down. Today I finally got the chance to go beyond giving him fellatio, more free time. And I think this is the last time he will ever talk to me. I exercise, jog a lot and my legs tend to get dry in the winter. To combat that, I usually use a heavy moisturizing cream, CeraVe, Eucerin, etc., on my legs and I seal in the product with a layer of body oil. Today, I used a body oil from Herbivore that has a light jasmine scent. I have had good experience with this oil because my intimate partners don't find the light scent offensive, and many of them get a bit primal and want to give my body little love bites when I have it on. This morning was no exception. He threw my feet over his shoulders during penetration and during intense moments he gave my ankles and legs little bites. At first I thought he was a little bit red in the face and upper chest area from the intensity of the session. He is very pale and I have seen this in redheads, strawberry blonde, very light-skinned guys. 
but then he started complaining about itching and burning on his skin, and his lips began to swell. I immediately suspected some sort of allergic reaction to either the lotion or the body oil. I'm not sure which because in that moment my sole focus was to make sure he didn't die from the allergic reaction. He should probably get a patch test or something after he recovers. I helped him wipe off whatever was on his face and upper chest with a wet rag immediately and gave him some Benadryl I had in my travel toiletries tote. Thankfully he did not need to go to the ER. But I was pretty freaked out given how dramatic his redness and swollen lips were. I sent him home and I messaged him some hours later to make sure he was okay. That's when he messaged me back with dick pic showing redness and blistering on his shaft with an unambiguous text message, FCKU. In the chaos of the allergic reaction during sex, I forgot I had squirted the body oil in my anus to pre-lubricate my hole before he came over. Too long did not read. I used a moisturizing body oil in a way that was not 100% recommended, intended and lost a promising non-platonic friend as a result. I do feel 10 out of 10 terrible about his blistering phallus. ETA. Thank you for all the support messages and DMs. My main foo was using it where I wasn't supposed to, I think. I mean, to be fair, the bottle didn't say in big letters not for internal use, people put things like olive oil, mineral oil, butter in their butts so maybe they should make it more clear. I genuinely think he wouldn't be so angry if it was just his upper chest, neck, lips, face that got contact allergies. Colon opening parenthesis. People can be allergic to, literally, water. Edit. Not that you should be expected to know every person's particular allergies. So, I feel compelled to tell you that if a person with an allergic reaction has swollen lips, they should probably go to the ER, because swelling in the mouth can rapidly progress to the throat, and that's not good. As for the rest, I think your non-platonic friend is being an asshole. You didn't do it on purpose. Also, you shouldn't be using oil of any sort as a sexual lubricant. It's not healthy or safe for either you or your partner. There are plenty of water and silicone-based alternatives. I'm just old, and trying to help. Be safe, and have fun. I should point out that moisturizing oil shouldn't be used internally. Not only can it contain things you don't want inside your body, it's incompatible with the use of condoms. Though it sounds like you didn't use protection.